Continuing to fill questions for you as Samili, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group if step one is becoming harder to pass, okay? Uh, I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So students asking from our Telegram group if step one is getting harder to pass. Now look, clearly in January of this year, 2022, step one went to pass fail, okay? And there was this erroneous notion in place that because it's pass fail, holy shit, it should be easier to pass. Okay, step one, not a big deal. It's just pass fail. That's great. Easier to pass. It's not fucking true. It's actually the opposite. And this isn't my opinion. This is objective because prior to the pass fail transition, we had an objective 194 as the pass mark. Now it's 197 internal. So although, yes, it's pass-fail, it's actually harder to pass. Now, for many of you watching this clip, maybe that's not a big deal. You say, well, I would score 230 or 240 equivalent already. Okay, that's great. But most people I work with, most pe most students I, I actually chat with are struggling to pass. And so it is more difficult when we talk about that 194 to 197 conversion. So rather than just saying, okay, that sucks, step one's harder to pass, do I have any point I can drive, any additional value I can provide as far as how to get you over that hump, okay? Now, I've made plenty of prior clips here on my YouTube talking about how to get through your comp, CBSC, as well as the step one, but I should at least harp on the fact, once again, that not only are you going to finish all of UWorld, I want you doing all of it, but I want you going through NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one, okay? You're going to do 20 through 24 offline. You're going to do free 120, okay? That's very important as well. Then 25 through 30 online. I want you to do it in that order if at all possible. And you're going to go through my free high-yield PDFs. I want you going through high-yield arrows. I've made lots of clips talking about that as well. High-yield arrows is going to rule in. It's highly specific for you passing this step one. So if you know the contents in the high-yield arrows PDF very well, I'll link it down below, then you're going to pass the step one. So UWorld, that's, that's one. All the NBME content, that's two. Uh, my PDFs three, especially high yield arrows, and then you're going to do my audio cue bank here in the YouTube. That's four. You can you can they're organized by playlist. Okay, listen to, listen to it casually while you're at the gym, cooking, cleaning, brushing your teeth, flossing. You have the the phone right there on the tabletop counter, and you can just listen to the clips passively. Okay, and they're based on the NBME content, the audio cue bank. So very fucking effective. All right, so that's a solid tetrad for you. You rolled all the NBMEs, the PDFs, and the audio cue bank. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.